and welcome to tonight's Night Network from me, Junior Fordham. And from me, Blackie Lawless. Tonight, you have the pleasure of seeing us take over the video view, and Annabelle Giles talks to Dusty Springfield. Kate Davis is back with small screen and her latest selection of videos. Paul Thompson is talking to Throwing Muses, and the neighborhood are playing live here this, in the studio. <laughs> Hello, there. <laughs> Sales <laughs> tax. <laughs> so see you in a few minutes, then. <laughs> Good evening, you're welcome to another thrilling, fun-packed, fabulous, far-out, far-reaching edition of Night Network's Video Easy View. Easy for you to say. It's difficult to say. Once you said it once, you never want to say it again. And on my left, I have a girl in a spin, Julia Fordham. Welcome, Julia. Girl in a spin. <laughs> well, things are a bit busy, aren't they? They are. Terribly so. But I'm uh, currently at home, starting on the second album, calming down to a frenzy. Doesn't have time to even go to see a film or anything. I did. I saw one film and it was dreadful. That was? Dead Ringers. Well, there you go. Don't You'll go never have a smear again. Don't see it. That's <clears> all I can say. Talking, talking of smear campaigns, um, we've got Blackie <laughs> Lawless here from Wasp. Welcome, Blackie. Now, it's strange to see you in the country. Why so? Because I've never seen you here before. Well, there's probably not done. Uh, yeah, I like this shirt. This reminds me of something that you see on a tablecloth that That's pizza That's right. As I say, any minute now, someone's going to sit down and have a picnic on me. <laughs> right. Um, but we can talk about clothes a bit later on because we've got the old John Paul Gautier video um, in the show. Let's go into the first one, though. This comes from Mojo Nixon, who's a sort of U.S. traveller in time for whom life is one long tour. He's going to be soon starring as the drummer in the new Jerry Lee Lewis film, starring alongside Dennis Quaid, who will be playing the lead role. Here is a track not yet for release in the UK. It's called Elvis is Everywhere. <laughs> and, uh... What a corker. What a corker. I'm feeling like a dreadful old baddie for bibbing it off now. You That's great. Like I like that. <laughs> I, I like the one guy in the back who looked like his grandfather was a billy goat. You know, the one with the goatee. That guy was cool. You did say during that, Blackie, that only in America can you turn out shit like that, didn't well, you? Well, hey, what? you know, I mean, it's the kind of situation where you see this, and this is living proof that some people do anything to keep from working. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, how far the charts in the States you're in, they'll go? Oh, it won't get on the charts at all. But this is one of these kind of things that you like to have in your private library. Mm. When you bring home a girl at night and you got nothing to do, and she's, well, never mind, I want to know. Trust me, don't show that to any girl. <laughs> you dropped off by this, dropped off in the second chorus. <laughs> no, no, come on now, please. Let's just join together as friends. Let's not have any animosity to start with. But, um, so did you like the vid, though, Julia? I mean, I know you sort of... I thought it was early. all right. I thought, you know, I thought I've grasped it. The second chorus has passed. I know what's going to happen Julia, now. Hold your arms. Just relax a bit. Look, I'm happy as I am, thank you. I like fiddling with my ear and folding my arms. Okay, That's just sorry, what I sorry. do. So give so me a break. Back, back to the video. I thought it was okay. He didn't lip sync in time though, and that was getting I on don't my think nerves. I really could have given him monkeys about lip sync in that one. This is like, rock and roll for God's sake. Like, it's it's not brain that surgery. Is not I mean, rock and Jesus roll. Christ. That is not rock what and roll. What was it then? What was it? It was a bit of jolly piffle and tosh. That's what it was. Well, rock and roll is supposed to be sweaty and smelly, right? It and if it ain't sweaty. sweaty and smelly, it ain't rock and roll. That wasn't sweaty and smelly. Well, you never sit next to anybody in my band before, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, we're going to have to wait till the scratch and sniff version of that video comes out. Oh, stop make, it. That, make those decisions. Now, as I said, we're going to talk about clothes on this show, because John Paul Goto has decided that clothes are not enough. The man who's been keeping the music business in stitches for a long time has now cut some vinyl with a video directed by Jean-Baptiste Mondino. It's called How to Do That. <laughs> Well, Blackie, I'll ask you to um, give your verdict on that one first of all. John Paul Gaultier there with How To Do That. It's like homosexuality is taking over the whole goddamn world, you know that? I just, what? I, I can't, I don't know. All right, I think, Julia, we're looking for an answer to that. I, I think, think I'd like to, challenge. I think I'd like Blackie to qualify what he means oh, by no, that. I don't want to hear about your old boyfriends or anything like that. I just, no, I just... a minute. I think uh, that's, a, you know... A fairly damning and serious statement. Homosexuality right. is taking You're over right. the whole world. Someone as talented as Jean Paul Gaultier, and you can sit there and say that. I think that's offensive. Hey, yeah, you know, different strokes for different folks. Is it a big American sort of rock and roll concept that homosexuality is a really bad thing? You've never been on Santa Monica Boulevard in LA, I can tell you that. No, I mean, you it's know. not the sort of place I want to go. No, you think? probably not. Yeah. You know. no, but why is, it, why is it you think? I mean, the mayor's got a plot out there to gas the whole street, I'll tell you. But why, why is it that sort of, you know, big heavy rockers who in fact spend more time in the makeup room than a lot of um, homosexual musicians um, have such a sort of a damning view on it? Is it this sort of exactly. macho trip? Exactly. I mean, you know, on? you've got long hair that's sprayed, you're wearing makeup. It's just killed off people half the could, ozone layer in the Yeah, makeup. people could look at you and make some kind of like homosexual jipe or jip and you would feel terribly it's offended. Simple. It's the all-American pastime, greed. What? And what's greed got to do with it? Little Explain. girls. Little girls, explain. So you're, you're, you're like. No, the, the ones that are kind of shapely. 
you know, like that, you know, but so you can kind of justify, squeezable. You can justify saying something like that, and you can damn someone for being a homosexual, then. Roll the next one. Well, I don't really think we should actually. Should we let, should we let Blackie Lawrence get away with a statement like that? I don't think Blackie should be able that. to get away with that. Something like that. Someone who has a position of power to make a sort of derogatory statement well, about homosexuals, network, I think, is... Um, television. But then again, I, I suppose everybody's got to be able to say what they want to. Yes, and I guess they have. And not, indeed, we both do. So. It's not our role to make excuses for Blackie. I think everybody out there can make up their own mind independently and individually. Um, talking of men of style, though, we can go on to Shaking Stevens, who is now appearing with the help of the Art of Noise with an old Marty Wilde number. It's called Jezebel. I think he's a heterosexual, though, this man. Oh, You'll be all right. Do you smoke? It's over now. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> Blackie, what oh. is it with you? <laughs> Torturing you guys for what you did to me in the last segment. That is what oh, you did. that's what it was. <laughs> Very good. Yes, but we didn't put our foot in our mouths, did we? No. <laughs> So tell us about Shaking Stevens. Where's the where's the big? I don't know. I wasn't watching him. I was watching the girl. The girl. Oh come on, Julia! Don't let him get away with it. I just don't want let to start sobbing it. and beating my fist and no, going, no, no. "No, I want to go home." I I'm not a shaky fan. It has to be said. I, the earth does not move at all, and. Um, I didn't think that was one of his finest. I think actually I prefer him when he's giving it plenty, plenty. And I didn't think that was... What's plenty, plenty mean? Well, it's kind of like, you know, he does all this kind of like, you know, jostling around with his mic stand. And I didn't even notice a girl, actually. I... <laughs> but then I don't suppose I would. Any further comments, Blackie? No? I just, I'm just wondering where she got those shoes. Or that. Well, whilst Blackie's I doing that, hopefully we'll be back after the break if Blackie hasn't thrown all Thank the monitors you. out of the windows between <laughs> now and that time. My best friend, Blackie. Marvellous chat. No, it's great. It's fabulous. <laughs> and welcome back to another thought-provoking edition of Video mm -hmm. View. This is part two, and we're looking for physical violence between Julia Fordham and Blackie Lawless. And who better than to provide us with physical violence than the Proclaimers, <laughs> who are back. Yes, Craig and Charlie Reed are back with another Sizzler from the Sunshine on Leith album, which has already gone platinum. It's called I'm On My Watch Out My Way. 